Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a uh, another video. In this one, I figured I'd just do another product review. Yes, it's another old product, of course, because I just tend to review stuff that I've had sitting around. Uh, this is the Pioneer uh, VSX 521K. Uh, it's their it's Pioneer's entry level uh, receiver from a few years ago, and um, you know I got it for somewhere between 130 and 150 I think back in 2011 or 2012 I got it it was on sale the suggested retail for this thing was somewhere between two and three hundred I don't know the exact uh, what the exact suggested retail was for it but you know I got it on sale yada yada because I at the time you know I had a home theater set up in my living room I have since downgraded uh, my sound in my living room you know, for wife acceptance factor. Honestly, I've given myself the better stuff. Uh, you know, we just got a sound bar up there now, which, whatever, who cares? You know, uh, the sound, is, that's not really my main focus in the living room, especially with kids. They tend to ruin things, run over cords, etc. So, it was a worthwhile thing to uh, switch out. So anyway, um, I figured I'd give this a whirl instead of my long-serving JVC uh, receiver, see if I like the sound better than this. Uh, who knows, I haven't really listened to it much yet, so I can't really say if I like it better than my JVC or not. Uh, as you can see, the front of the unit is highly glossy. Uh, you can see my reflection in it pretty clearly. You can probably see me in video as well. Uh, you can also see, uh, the room around me, all that stuff just in the reflection of this thing. So, highly reflective unit. And, uh, yeah, so, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is uh, just show you close up all the wonderful buttons on the front. And it's got, you know, your standard, uh, you know, buttons here. This dial here is actually for switching inputs, not a volume control. This one here is actually the volume control. So, I don't know, just throwing that out there. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the front. Oh, wait, one other thing in the front. Um... This here, the front input, this is for, you know, 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, you can put, um, you know, you can hook up a phone uh, or, you know, iPod, whatever, to this thing. And obviously it'll output headphone jack. Pretty basic front. So anyway, I'm going to pause real here, right here real quick and uh, turn this bad boy around, show you the back and all that. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys, uh, here's the back of the unit. As you can see, we got tons of inputs on it. Whole bunch. Uh, we got some HDMI inputs and HDMI output. Now, that's all fine and good, but I'm actually not going to be... Uh, for what I'm going to use, this is definitely overkill as far as inputs and outputs go. Uh, what I will be using, really, is just kind of uh, one analog input on the rear, because I'll be running my audio engine D1 into this into one of these analog inputs. Um, I'll be using these high quality speaker uh, binding posts here uh, to hook up my main speakers and I'll use the subwoofer out. But other than that, I won't be using... <laughs> other than that, this is going to be a pretty uh, minimalistic number of wires running into this because it has a you know 3.5 millimeter uh, input on the front, so if I occasionally want to hook up an iPod or a phone or whatever, I'll be able to do that on the front. I won't have to utilize one of these rear inputs. So, um, yeah, as you can see, tons and tons of inputs and outputs on this thing. Definitely overkill for what I need, but, you know, this is definitely, uh, you know, if you have a home theater set up, uh, this would definitely be, you know, more in that vein. So, anyway, uh, that is the rear of the unit. And I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to hook everything up, get it turned on, do some listening, and talk a little bit more about it. Okay, guys, uh, I did some listening on this bad boy. And I have to say, uh, compared to the JVC that I had, um, I think the sound on this is a bit crisper, clearer. Um, the main differences I could tell uh, between this and the JVC is this uh, receiver seemed to handle um, recordings that have been you know damaged by the loudness wars uh, there is less distortion overall on this receiver than on the uh, JVC also when I really pumped the volume up to almost maximum on this 
there is less distortion on the Pioneer than on the JVC. So I'm going to have to say overall, the Pioneer gets the sound quality uh, award between the two. Um, you know, so you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't you swap out the receiver sooner? Well, I was pleased overall with the JVC, didn't have a lot of complaints about it, but, uh, you know, and just due to inertia, <laughs> more than anything is the reason I used this so long, because it's not fun to swap out stuff, reconnect wires, all that stuff, but now that I did it, I'm glad that I did it. Uh, this is not going to be my permanent, um listening uh, unit though eventually when I get the money I don't know when that's gonna be I will get uh, an integrated stereo amp to use instead of this I'll probably get a, a you know one that costs somewhere in the three to five hundred dollar range I'm not gonna get one that's super expensive but I do plan on spending some money to replace this with an integrated stereo amp at some point in the future um, I'm looking at a Yamaha and a few others as far as this unit goes what I will eventually build a home theater here in my basement, and I think for movies, this unit is absolutely adequate. There's no doubt for, for movie listening, this is going to be absolutely fine. No problem. I, I think it's more than enough for movie list, for movie watching. For music, though, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, there, was, there wasn't really any distortion on it. There was on some of those recordings, of course, that were affected by the loudness force, but it doesn't matter how good your amp receiver is. If uh, something's been mastered like crap, it's going to sound like crap no matter what you play it back on. It's just nature of the beast. But this did seem to drive the speakers overall better than my JVC. Uh, I will be keeping my JVC around as a spare in case one of my mini systems ever dies or whatever. I can always hook up some speakers to that and have it as a make place stereo. So anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much going to wrap this. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to go over. Um, this has all sorts of, um, you know, EQ settings on it or whatever. So, uh, the best way to listen to this thing is in, uh, where is that? What I would call the pure direct mode. That basically bypasses the internal DSP entirely. It doesn't apply any effects and you tend to get the best sound out of it that way. So anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. Um, you know... If you guys did enjoy what you see, please, you know, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.